Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to generate OTP in ASP.NET Core. Okay, let's to start. Uh, so first of all, uh, create a method that is generate OTP. On this uh, method, first of all, create a view section for the get section uh, for the get uh, IE action result. Okay. Uh, in the view section or you can say the dot cshtml5 only create a button control when we click on the button control then generate a five digit otp number okay so prepare a form for the single button control and that generate uh, the new um, action result method okay so here you can design input type submit now value also is submit generate OTP is the get method of your web application and the post method you can say the send OTP is a new method first of all change in the view section VSP action is send OTP and in same section you can call send OTP input type submit get otp and send otp in send otp create a uh, logic to generate otp numbers or you can say the five digit otp numbers so first of all uh, takes uh, the total numbers 0 to 9 and after that you can define the length of the number that is number dot length or you can get the length of the number and after that you can uh, decide the uh, digits number of OTP here I decide five digit number I want to um, generate so you can take OTP digits is the five okay you can take six you can take seven okay and also you can take four here string the final digit and the get index method actually get index method uh, is treat as an index of that array zero to nine and 0 to 9 actually stored in in the type of array okay so first of all check this code use for loop and that for loop iterate through only the OTP digits number because I want to generate only five uh, number or, or five random number so you can uh, use for loop iterate uh, 
for five uh, iterate only five times inside you can take do and while loop and the while loop is otp dot index of the final digit but here we uh, not define the final digits so first of all define the final digit or i can take in some numbers in the final digit Okay, uh, get index new random dot next. And the final digit dot next zero to length. And the length is then decide on the basis of the number. I can take it here as zero to nine. So length is defined. And the final digit is come from the character array number dot to convert into the array so zero is uh, um, reside on zero index one is reside on one index similarly nine is decide de residing on the nine number nine index so you can get the index number on the basis of the random number okay the length is 10 0 to 5, uh, 0 to 10 and the temp data actually stored the OTP number okay so let's to start return view redirect to action with the same uh, with the same action result view that is generate OTP okay and in the CSHTML file of the generate OTP I take temp data with the OTP okay so thank you very much guys uh, I'm too much tired uh, so if you like this video please subscribe this uh, channel and uh, please 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 don't forget this please subscribe my channel I request you because uh, without any subscription uh, I'm not feeling comfortable with my code and also with my channel so please subscribe and uh, share this video thank you very much and uh, you can watch your output here It's taking uh, too much time to uh, load data. So this is the previous output. You can check generate OTP with the in the home section. Generate OTP in the home section. Yeah, you can check it here. Th there is your number seven nine two five eight. Again, when we click on the generate OTP refresh the button yeah thank you very much for watching